Hi, I'm Dr. Shashidhar. I'm a senior consultant cardiologist and director uh, in the uh, cardiology department. I'm an electrophysiologist also. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the differences between the ECG and an echocardiogram. These are the two investigations which are performed commonly when a patient walks into uh, any either to a cardiologist or a general physician to check the health status of the heart. ECG is basically recording the electrical information of the heart on a, a rhythm on a paper strip. So we usually devise where we record a 12 lead strip on the ECG and that gives us an idea of the electrical activity of the heart. Apart from electrical activity, we can also make a diagnosis about how what is the structure of the heart and is there any uh, heart attack or impending heart attack or is there any decrease in the blood supply called ischemia all these can be detected with an ecg but one caveat is the ecg can be completely normal in a patient who is having a serious heart problems and likewise the ecg can be completely abnormal in a patient who has a normal heart so the important thing is ECG should be interpreted by a, a certified a cardiologist or a physician in the background of uh, the clinical information. Then only we can make a diagnosis, proper diagnosis. Otherwise, it can lead to a lot of misdiagnosis. Coming to the echocardiogram. Echocardiogram is uh, an ultrasound scan of the heart, which looks at the structure of the heart, where we look at the movement of the uh, the cardiac chambers, the function of the valves, these are the information we try to get from the echocardiogram. And this echocardiogram can be done when a patient is resting on the bed, that is called a resting echocardiogram. And also it can be done like a stress echo, where either we make the patient stress on a, a static bicycle or on a treadmill, or sometimes we give a medication for whom those who cannot walk on a treadmill or a bicycle, we give a medication to increase the heart rate so that the heart gets stressed and then echo can be performed. So this will give us an information how the heart status with the stress. This is not a like uh, you, you cannot say I have done a treadmill and I will not do echo. So both are different uh, investigation altogether. So we will have to do first do an echo and if necessary it has to progress to a treadmill test